to talk about tint today and not your sunglasses. Although on a sunny day, it is recommended. I love my tint. Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Let's do a video about different kinds of tint. We'll start with no tint, then we'll go to bad tint and then we'll go to good tint. So the difference. This will be the project vehicle for today. As you can see, we have no tint. Nothing is behind here. So it's clear as day. Yeah. It looks perfectly normal, which is what you expect in a non-tinted vehicle. In this vehicle, this is your, this was 5% tint. You'll see the reason why I say that. And this is your double layered 5% tint. So maybe 2.5 or something. Let's go inside. So here we go. And you can see, this is your, what you're supposed to have 5%. And you come down here, because I leave my windows open during the summertime. That was last year. That was the year before that. And that's after another year. So it's been sitting a while. But you can see the difference. So tint does lighten over time. This is what I look like when that door is closed. See the difference right there. Now it will get darker when the door is actually physically closed. Here's another video of the other side. Let's open up that door and you will see again, we'll go on the other side of the door. I look, it looks like a mirror. Interesting, eh? So, moving on to another truck, which has high quality tint. This is my work truck. As you can see, you can barely look inside. And over there, the window's down, so you can see right through. But if it was closed, you wouldn't be able to see inside at all. When I put the phone on the inside, things become significantly darker. That's awesome. So typically speaking, this is your privacy tint and privacy tint is around 15%. You're only allowed up to 20% on the front window. So my driver's side and passenger side are illegal in a lot of my vehicles and cops don't like that kind of stuff because if they can't see in, they don't know what you're doing and you can get a lot of trouble for that, get some fines. They can even ask you to take it off the vehicle on the spot. You don't want that to happen, don't do it unless you want to run the risk of getting that fine. So we're on the other side of the vehicle and you can see here if I just kind of clean out some of the dirt how dark it actually is. This is your 20%. This is your 15%, which is legal. So bright, now flip the camera. You can see the difference here. So that's how dark it gets, which is very, very acceptable. So all that being said, all depends on how dark you want your windows to get. I personally prefer your 5% and I go with the highest quality of tint. So I never have to worry about the sun lightening it up as you saw in my Dodge Ram pickup truck which is not nice. We'll just go over that one more time. So here, you can see the two layers right there. We want to stay away from that. So get the good quality stuff. I always recommend 3M for the tint and it's even clearer than your normal stuff. And if, because this is a product that's going to uh, cloud your vision if you want to go with that, um, you want it to be as clear as possible so that uh, when you do get pulled over or when you are driving, you can see everything that's in front of you and all around you. Anyways, guys, hope you found this video informative. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.